Welcome back to the channel guys Today's video we're going to have a look at the, the Pathfinder stainless steel M40 cook kit I've, uh, I've collected the Swedish Army uh, M40 and M44 Swedish cook kits for a while now But I've been trying to get my hands on one of these so just before Christmas I bought one I like this back kit, it's got the stainless steel windshield it's obviously a stainless steel pot and stainless steel pan. Specifications is high quality 304 food grade stainless steel. So it's perfect for eating out of. This is Dave Canterbury's uh, Pathfinder uh, edition. They obviously uh, made a replica model of the, the Swedish Army. Stainless steel uh, M40 kit, but that just that just hasn't got the windshield that stainless steel, so you can't have a fire in it or that. So I wanted to get my hands on one of these, see how it was. So we'll take a look at it and see. Get out of the box. You can see I've wanted these for a while. Way. It's brand new, I've, I've never had it out of the box yet. So, right away, that, that's spot on. Like you say, the Swedish Army mess kit set is a cracking set, but it's been missing this stainless steel windshield where you could uh, have a fire in. It's alright having the uh, the fuel burner or the gas stove or that in there just to heat your pot up but being able to have a fire in that now is actually spot on great looking thing that like the pot looks the pot looks like it's made well too pathfinder That's spot on. Like I say, I've wanted one of these for a while, so I'm glad I've got my hands on one now. It looks like it's made put together well. Got the stand inside it, that's just for setting the pot on. Setting it the wrong way. <laughs> That's nice like that. You thought the Pathfinder would have been the, the opposite way. Just with the front of that being like that. Would have been turned around but obviously no. I doesn't, doesn't feel that heavy either to be honest with you. We'll put it back together. And we'll uh, put it on the scales and see what it weighs. Now. Yeah. We'll get the scales over. Zero the scale. 962 grams. To reset that now. Seven. Nine hundred and sixty-nine grams. That's not too bad, actually. I suppose everybody that, that likes these kits is going to carry it, and that's it empty. My, my other mess kits, my Swedish mess kits, I've got up there. They're fully kitted out with Kuskas. Uh, Fuel uh, bottles, fire lighters, no, fire lighters, ferro rods, just bits and pieces that you would need for to set up a camp and have a brew and cook some food. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. That obviously sits in there too, so. Oh, 
Actually, we'll go ahead and we'll get a brew in it. We'll go ahead and stick that on just to speed up the boil. Well guys, that's uh, the Pathfinder uh, M40 Swedish Mescat stainless steel version. It's got the full stainless steel uh, windshield, which is going to be a good addition. Like, we'll get that out in the out of the camp soon. Get a good try out. <clears throat> like I say, I've got got a good few in my collection now. Uh, the Swedish Army M40 and M44 Mescats, but. I wanted the Pathfinder one because Dave Carterbury, they obviously did their edition and it's a stainless steel windshield so I was looking forward to getting my hands on that. No doubt there'll be a titanium in soon. <laughs> there always is, is there? But I'm looking forward to getting out with this. Had a brew on it so I gave it its first burn. What was it? Uh, 4 minutes 50 seconds was the, the boil time on it with a Trangia uh, alcohol stove so that isn't too bad it's that's what it is eh like you say it's not too heavy can't even mind what I said it was uh, I'll put it on the screen <clears throat> but I'm going to enjoy my coffee here a couple of Jaffa cakes If you like what I'm doing guys, let me give my channel a subscribe, there's plenty more stuff coming like this also, I'm going to mix my channel up a bit with all different content now, because I'm, I'm noticing for a lot of my older videos that people aren't actually interested in my mess kit sets and my camping stoves and cook sets and that too, so I'm going to mix that up in between all my other stuff, so like I say, thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.